I'm kind of um, kind of flying by the seat of my britches this morning. I had a chance to talk to two of my children. I'm going to go ahead and change this a bit. Ah, that's a little bit better. had a chance to interact with a couple of my kids online, but um, calling right at the last minute. It's like, hi, got just a minute here. <laughs> I'm just a little bit, uh, a little bit afraid here. But uh, so glad you could join us. I wanted to wish you a happy belated Groundhog's Day. It's kind of a kind of a fun time around here. I don't know if many of you ever watched the uh, the Bill Murray Groundhog Day movie. That's kind of a kind of a tradition here. Before I go any further, let me check one thing. Uh, a little bit afraid. Okay. Okay. Good. I just wanted to make sure that the microphone was broadcasting okay, and the heat just came on. Let me just check something just to see. I don't know. If maybe okay. Okay. It's still working. Um, I just want to make sure that the AC is not interacting uh, too terribly with it. It's cold here, guys. Um, our high today, I believe, is like 33, and it's supposed to go down to about 12 tonight and be very cold tomorrow. Um, woke up to very, very, very windy weather and had forgotten that I parked my car underneath the trees, which is never good because that means the branches sometimes come crashing down. So thankfully everything was okay with that, but it was just so windy. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Well, let me go ahead and say hey to some of you all in the chat who've been waiting so patiently. Um, we have a new person. Is it San Sanji Tabala? I'm saying that right. Hi to you. So glad that you could join us. And Eswari in Toronto. Oh, I bet you're cold up there, sweetheart. Uh, and Kelly Hart, it's good to see you in the chat. Um, she said hello to everyone listening and watching from Tucson, Arizona. Um, says her brother is not doing well. So sorry to hear about that, Kelly. I hope he gets better. Um, oh, and she's giving us a report. Good about uh, the booth. Last week, Kelly had a a sale with her handcrafted crocheted items um, said the booth didn't do so good there wasn't a lot of people there my cousin put up a sign but it wasn't drawing in much people um, okay and she had some of her family help her yeah Kelly I'm so sorry to hear that it it it's a hit or miss in in doing that um, you may want to try some some things online um, it's just it's just really hard to know I will tell you though that some of the best times to sell your items at craft fairs is right before the Christmas holidays. I, I've had probably my best success doing that. And, and, and when I say my best success, that's within quotes. That means um, compared to the other times when I didn't even make my table fee. So I don't know if that makes you feel any better, but it's, it's, a, hard, it's a hard thing um, to figure. Um, and again, I do just want to point you all, you and anybody else trying to, to do well in that way, uh, check out um, Pat Grice's um, uh, uh, Crochetpreneur sites. She's all over social media, and I know her personally, and she's the real deal. And I think she can, she has a lot of great videos that can help you do well with the business side in many ways. Uh, we have Brad's mom in the chat. It's so good to see you from frigid southwest Chicago suburbs. Oh I, my goodness, I bet you are cold. Um, and um, uh, Kelly says they're gonna get in the 70s today and then get real. Enjoy the 70s, Kelly, send it, send it our way. <laughs> um, we have Nanny Lanny Loves to Craft uh, from Aldershot, London. Um, so good to have you, Nanny Lanny. That's so great, I love that name. And Red Hook, so she's, I'm, she says, I'm at the eye doctor. I'll have to watch the replay. Well, Red Hook, we hope you are doing all right. And um, Brenda Mack, so good to see you in our chat. Um, thank you. She said she had a chance to look at the website. Very nice. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, she said we could go into website design business. Whew. I don't think my son ever wants to do that, Brenda, but thank you. Um, and Brenda has hit on the, one of the things I wanted to tell you all. Um, we have updated our, this was something that's been long overdue. Um, our, our website was so old <laughs> and we just had, we just knew we wanted to update it and we've been working on things behind the scenes. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Heather. Thank you for your generosity. I'm going to add that 
to my list here so I do not forget. Wow, so that brings us up to $65. Thank you so much. And our next donation will be for Shriners Hospital for Children. So thank you. Thank you so much, Heather. Um, but what I was saying, uh, we, we did update our website. It's still at the same address, bonniebaycrochet.com. You can also get there just typing in bonniebay.com. Um, and it is, it is definitely more secure for you, for me, for everybody. So uh, we had to upgrade it at any rate. Uh, Europe had passed, I think I talked about this last week, Europe, the EU, all those countries over there, you guys um, kind of up the ante on security, which is really good. And hopefully the US is gonna catch up to you guys. Um, but the website is all secure and it meets all the, the uh, criteria for what's happening and the requirements for the, the European Union. And um, when you go there again for the first time, and this should only happen for the first time only, it's going to ask you about your uh, preferences for cookies or whatever. Um, and, and that's part of the security thing. And you can go in there and you can, you can, you know, tell the computer what you want to keep, what you don't want to keep, and um, just communicate with that. We had to do that. That was by law. But I also just wanted to reassure you that um, to date, to this day, and, and as far as I have anything to say about it, and I have everything to say about it, um, we do not sell your information anywhere. Because I know sometimes you, you put your name on a mailing list somewhere, and then all of a sudden you get spam I am in your in inbox from like the world. It's not coming from us. Um, we do not sell those mailing lists. And I have had companies ask me for my mailing list. It's a good mailing list. Um, I could make money on this mailing list, but that's not the way I do business. And um, just to let you know, we don't share that information with anybody outside of, of us. And I never will if I have anything to say about it. And like I said, I have everything to say about it. And that's just the way we do business here. Um, we treat our friends like friends, not not like uh, not like a commodity. Um, we treat our friends like friends, the way we want to be treated. So anyway, um, but anyway, the website is updated. It it looks a lot better. My son Caleb and my husband Craig worked on this, and and I was of course in the meeting. We worked on this a lot. Um, spent the last month meeting online, long meetings, talking about things, and and, and we're not done yet. We are hoping to add our very own online store in the near future just to have all the patterns where you can download them from us rather than going through Lovecrafts or Etsy or something like that. Um, but that's not that's not happening yet. It's something that that's going to be phase two. And again, and we want to, it's got to be done in the most secure manner. So it's going to be done right. So it just takes a little bit of time. Um, there is a blog post in case you haven't seen it. Um, it's called uh, The Mini Miracle Crochet Story from Florida. I cannot even read this out loud without, without lots of tissue, and you don't need to see that. I want you to take a look at it when you get a chance. I do have the link to the blog post, which will put you on the new site, and you can poke around and see how it's different. Um, everything loads a lot better. Um, and so it, it's the latest blog post I've put up, and I am going to try to be better about blogging now that the, the the website is much safer. For the last year or so, I've been hesitant to do a whole lot there. Um, you would also, also often get the not secure sign up there telling you it, it, there was nothing particularly wrong with the website. It just wasn't updated to the latest and greatest security. So now that it is, I, I am going to be using that a little bit more than I have. I'm going to try to be more faithful. Um, but honestly, what we do here on Friday Fun is is probably the most informative thing that I do as far as news and um, what's going on here and, uh, and and what I know to be going on in the larger crochet community online, or at least the parts that I'm affiliated with. So, um, and I do have a newsletter. If you go to my website, there there is a newsletter. It's going to look like a review page to what we do here. But um, I'm hoping to put offers and things like that in the future in, in into that. I, I, I haven't included them lately because, quite honestly, it's not really possible on the sites where I am, where I have my patterns. They don't really um, offer coupons in the same way, so it's kind of hard to do. 
So um, I'm hoping to be able to do that once we finish phase two of our website. But I do have that newsletter and it'll bring you up to date um, with some of the things. But again, the Friday Fund, if you watch, if you stick with us and hang out with us, that'll pretty much tell you, pretty much tell you as much or more than a newsletter will. But, but anyway, um, let's see, where did I leave off? Oh, Denise, it's good to see you, Denise and Heather Jones and Love to Craft and wave right back at you. And Wanda Gordon from North Carolina, Bahama, North Carolina. You always make me think of, of home, you know, from Florida because people used to go to the Bahamas. I never did, but the Hama, your name is that town, Wanda reminds me of another Bahama or Bahamas. Um, thank you for the reminder. Hit that thumbs up if you feel inclined. That does help the little bots do their job behind the scenes a little better. And Swati, it's good to see you in the chat, my friend. Um, she says she's going to miss this one again due to work. Hope everyone is well. Yeah, Swati said she was thought she was going to be off, but then they called her in. They can't get along without her. Of course, she's a crocheter, so, you know, backbone of life. Um, and um, Heather Jones, how is everyone? Heather, we're doing well, by the grace of God, doing well. Um, and Sandra Harper, hello to you in sunny Southern California soaking in that sun and um alana she says sun is finally shining today yeah you know what alana it's shining outside here too the sky looks beautiful but if you if you think that's an indicator of the temperature <laughs> it would be so wrong it's um cold and that wind will cut right through right now um and kelly says i cannot wait to see what you have for us today all right i'll I got a couple things, not a lot of stuff, but I, I might have some, looks like I have a preview for you that was unintentional. I'm looking in my background here and I did not intend that to be there. <laughs> I didn't, like I said, my kids were talking to me and I love my kids, but uh, um, I got a little distracted and didn't get a chance to set up like I needed to. Uh, oh, thank you, Hannah. Let me go ahead and pull you up here. Um, Thank you, Hannah. Um, Hannah said that Heather Jones would like to know if I'll consider crocheting socks. Hmm. I'll have to think about that, Heather, because quite honestly, I've never made socks before. My kids have gotten into that at, at one point. Um, Becky has made socks. My son, Joseph, made a sock, <laughs> crocheted. Um, I've just not ever really had too much interest, but I can I can look at that and see... My my good friend Karen Hooley, spelled with a W H O O L E Y, um, she does have an excellent leaflet out on crocheted socks. Um, so if you want to you know check her site out, uh, so it's it's Karen Hooley. She's she's the sock queen in crochet. But uh, I I can I'll, I'll think about it. Um, I don't have anything immediately on my docket. I, I have a lot of things lined up. Um, that I'm working on for release, but um, socks are not in it yet. But I'll, I'll think about that. I'll, I'll check that out. Um, ah, Swati is asking about the blue, green, yellow, brown blanket. All right, all right. This isn't a blanket, Swati. Um, this is coming this spring. I'm going to take these off. This is actually a poncho. And it's all arrow stitch. I wasn't planning on showing this, but this will be coming to my channel. I don't even have a date yet for it, but it, it will be spring. It'll be spring by the time this is released. But it is coming, probably be sometime in March or April. Okay. Um, and it's just it's just arrow stitch. That's all it is. But I used some self-striping yarn from Caron Yarns. I, I bought it with my own money. They didn't contribute this. I, I just saw this at the store and was bored and wanted some, you know, color-changing yarn. I was in South Carolina, away from my stash. Um, so I had to get something. And this is the best I could come up with on the colors. And so I decided to just give it a go. And I actually kind of like it. And it's, also, um, it's very soft yarn, too. Very, very um, soft. So... Yeah, um, that is coming in the future. I have no no specific date set 
yet for that. But thank you, Hannah, for letting me know. Um, and Rebecca Styling says, this is, Hannah sent this to me, the new website is beautiful. I need to do my own website. How did you choose to set it up? So there are so many ways, so many different ways to do it, and I never have enough time to set mine up. I work full time. Um, this is not a paid um, endorsement or ad or anything. I, I wish they would pay me <laughs> to to advertise for them because this would be one thing I could could advertise for wholeheartedly, and that is um, I we did use the new Squarespace. Um, so if that helps you at all. Uh, they do have a lot of templates that make it a lot easier. So you do have to do some coding, maybe. I, I would have to check with my son. But um, he he's the one who's the mastermind behind all of that. And um, the trick was I was already established, so we had to sh switch it from an older Squarespace to the new Squarespace. So we had to transfer everything. And we wanted to do it in such a way that we didn't lose all those years of work. I did have to delete some of my very old um, blog posts because I didn't transfer as well. But it, it really, it was when I was just beginning and trying to find my way and figure things out. So I don't think a whole lot was was lost in that. So, I mean, I did use Squarespace, Rebecca, if that's helpful at all. Not to only get them to pay me to say that. I would, I would actually take them on. So Squarespace, if you're listening... Um, <laughs> give me a call. Um, I will wholeheartedly endorse this because um, it works for us and I can say I love it. So anyway, I am still learning the new system though because, you know, a lot of things have been changed, you know, when they upgrade it. it it's better, it's faster, um, but I still have to learn it and still, still kind of poking around and finding my way. Um, all right. Wanda Gordon says, doing too many things at once. I hope I just didn't block or delete anyone. <laughs> oh, Wanda, isn't that something? I, I've done that, my friend. I have done that and hit delete and shouldn't have hit delete. And it was unretrievable. Story of my life. Eh, yeah. And, um, yeah, Heather says, going to catch two, two live two weeks in a row. God is so good. <laughs> Yes, he is. And please, you all, take a look at that. Again, I'm re repeating myself. Um, the more recent, the most recent blog post about the mini miracle crochet story in Florida. Um, please don't miss that. It, there, after I introduce Diane Kay, um, I'm holding her last name, but her name is Diane. She's in Florida. And her and her family survived the um, Hurricane Ian. And um, they have suffered some loss, so materially. And so just, just know that it's a story about that. But, but I just love this woman's um, outlook on life. I, I know it was hard. It's, it, they're still in the midst of, of getting their lives put back together um, with the house and everything. But um, please check that story out. It will, it will bless you. Um, have the tissues nearby. But you're gonna like it, I think. And and again, it's all it's, hundred percent her her words, not mine. Um. Okay, and from Charlene Lucas, Hannah sent me your your message. Just hello, Bonnie. Good morning, everyone. Got a set of the Susan Bates new click and lock hooks. I love them. I don't have as much wrist stiffness after crocheting for a long time. Well, Charlene, I'm glad those work for you. That that's great. Um. For those of you who aren't familiar with those, I did a review. Uh, there is a review of the Susan Bates Twist and Lock Crochet Hook. It's an interchangeable set. Um, it's on my on my uh, my site here. On my if you go to my home page on YouTube, and, and you can look it up. It's one of, or if you just go to the video, hit videos, and then it, it shows you the videos that were released in a, over the, the recent months, and you'll see it there um, to see my review. Um, I love Susan Bates hooks. I, I, I'm I, glad it works for you. And I, I knew that some people would love this thing. I, on the other hand, have never gotten used to holding a chunky handle ever. I, I am so used to just the regular or the thinner handles on the Susan Bates. But um, but I had to get that set just to try it and to evaluate it and to you know throw it out there and see what you guys think. Uh, I just wish they made it prettier. Um, 
but I'm glad that, that you are enjoying it. Good, good for you. Anything that'll help that wrist is, is great. Um, Phil, we have a Phil in our chat. Hey, Phil, so wel welcome to our group here, man. That's great to see a new name come up. And um, Kelly Dye, thank you for, for joining us. And Kelly Hart says, yes, God is awesome and amazing. I recently had my prayer answered. Yes, he is, he is, he is. Um, that reminds me, hold on one second. I got to grab something over here. Okay. I thought I had all my stuff together, but nope, I didn't. I want to have this ready. Well, I wanted to tell you about a, a yarn sale. If you guys are looking for yarn for like a large throw and you need a bunch of, um, you know, all the yarn to be the same dye lot. Uh, if you're like me and you go into any of the big box stores, whether it's Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, any of those, and you, you need to get 3,000 yards of the same color yarn, it's impossible. And so what will happen is they'll say, well, I can order it for you. And I think, well, I could do that at home <laughs> without having to get in the car. Um, so, and, and I have spent many years trying to hunt down. This is before I was a designer and, be, you know, when I'm out, I was out scouring the world to get what I needed. It was impossible just about to get enough skeins of yarn that were all the same dye lot. So um, I, I love love ordering them online now and today i placed an order my good hard money hard earned money um on paint box yarns paint box is having this is at lovecrafts i do have a link in the video description below um normally their yarn is 3.99 it's 2.99 a ball and they have 10 ball sets for $27.93, which is about a $12 savings on a 10 pack. And I, I you know I love their yarn, their um the paint box. It's the Aaron, Simply Aaron. It's 100 percent acrylic. And I decided to order a massive amount today. I got two of those. Um and when I ordered two 10 packs, um, I don't know if you get the same with one 10 pack, but I also got free shipping. So I only had to pay taxes on it, Ugh. but anyway, um, so I got, I got a lot of yarn coming and it, it, again, I just wanted to pass that on to you. The, the link below is an affiliate link, but, but you don't have to use that. But even if you do, it's not going to cost you, it doesn't change the price at all. So if you order 10, you know, packs of 10, you get the, the yarn is $2 79 cents a ball. Um, or you can order them you know, individual smaller amounts and it's still two ninety nine, which is still a dollar a ball off. So, and, and again, check to see what their, the requirement is for free shipping. I don't know exactly how much you need, but I got free shipping with my order today. So I was pretty happy about that. So I'm looking forward to designing a spring summer, uh, something for you guys. I, I don't even know what I'm going to do with that yet. All I knew is, all I knew is I wanted to pick a beautiful color, um, that we would love designing with during that season. All right. Oh, from Phil says, I have a question about cables. I want to make a paneled Afghan with cables, but I want to make the cables a different color than the rest of the Afghan. What is the best way to do that? Okay. Um, the best way to do that is every place Phil where, where you're starting another cable in fact there's a someone sent me a beautiful picture of having done that in their work it was it was gorgeous um, what you're gonna have to do is every for every cable what you would need to do is have a different ball of yarn designated for that cable so if you're gonna have let's say five you know growing cables in the throw I would get five balls of yarn you might need more than that depending on what you're gonna do but I would just, you're gonna have to have five different balls of yarn running at the same time. You know, as you come to that section, if you're going across, then you'll need to, you know, work that yarn and then go back to your base color until you get to the next cable, if that makes sense. If the cables are worked this way, going in rows across. Now, if you, if you crochet one like the winter white, where you're just doing, you know, one section at a time, 
that's a no-brainer. That's a lot easier. But I think you're talking about going up like this. So um, it wouldn't be a very transportable project. It might be something that you would do in your your home place, <laughs> in your recliner, or wherever you are when you're crocheting, and um, just leave it there. And you might want to get. Um, actually, I have an idea. I'm going to show you something. You might want to have separate you know, a way to um, try to keep that yarn from getting all tangled. Um, the only other option is to cut the yarn for every cable, and you you don't want to do that. You need to just keep running, you know, balls running for each of those cables. So if that if that makes sense. Oh, Sheila, thank you so much for your generosity. My goodness, you guys are are so generous. Um, they're up to $75. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have to get creative here very soon. Just to let you know, <laughs> finger update <laughs> from practicing that last song. My finger is better. See the callus forming? It's on this finger right here. Um, it's better, but it's, it's still got an indentation from that blood blister, so I haven't been able to really touch anything with strings on it since, but um, hopefully... Hopefully, you know, maybe later this week or, or tomorrow or next week, I'll be able to start getting back into practice again. And Kelly wants to know, how many skeins of yarn did it take for me to crochet the winter white throw? Okay. Um, all right. I'm going to say the, a number. I'm going to throw a number out, which is, I think, I think it was 16. Okay. 16. But that said, um, you can't just go into any store and buy any yarn and buy 16 skeins. You really need to look at the yardage. Um, let me get, do I have a copy of this? Uh, I don't have a copy with it. Let me, let me, hold on a second. Let me, um, let me look something up here. Hold on a second. I, I will get the yardage number for you. It's on, a, it's on another one of my YouTube uh, videos. All right. The more important information to answer, instead of saying, okay, I did, I used 16 skeins of Universal Yarns Uptown Worsted Yarn, um, which each of those has 180 yards. So what I would, I like to train people to do when they're trying to, to find yarn for a design is get the number of yards you need. It's more important than the number of ounces or, or anything else. Get the number of yards or meters. Um, so it's 180 yards in a ball times 16. And that comes out to about 2,880 yards. And personally, when I when I buy yarn, I always buy extra. I always buy a little bit more than I think I'm going to need because inevitably I will underestimate. So I overestimate. And, and if I have a, an extra ball or two of yarn in my stash, yay, <laughs> I can use that for something else later or I can bless somebody else, you know, with the yarn, which I have done and I love doing that. Just get a bag of it together. I'm pretty sure I won't use this before I die or the next three years, I will just clear it from my stash and say, no, somebody else can use this and, and make better use of it. But, um, it, but it's there for me in case, um, you know, I, I run short in case maybe the designer miscalculated and, and forgot I mean, that happens. That happens. Believe me. Um, all of us are, are, are still members of the human race and we make mistakes. I, I make mistakes all the time. I'm just ask Swati. Um, I, I admit to it. I want to try to make things right. Um, we do our absolute best, but in the event that somebody's a little bit short, or maybe you're crocheting style, you're crocheting a throw and you want it bigger, you know, or or maybe your stitches are just a little bit bigger than the designers and you require more yarn. Just buy an, uh, one or two extra, just, just to have some security there. Um, anyway. I hope that answers your question, Kelly. So 16, if you're using a universal yarn, if you're using other yarn that has more, like if you buy paint box yarn, I think you'll still need about 16 of those as well. But there, there's hot, there's balls of yarn have 201. So it's, uh, 
you know, maybe 10% more yarn in it. So there's a chance you might need one less. So you have to do the math and figure that one out. All right, Sheila Ridge has a question. Wow, Hannah, you are doing an amazing job, girl. Yeah, <laughs> keeping up with all these questions. Um, let's see, Sheila um, Ridge says, I have a question. I am making the Tree of Life Afghan. Do you think I could replace the flowers in the divider section with another stitch like the Celtic weave? Um, you can give it a try. I mean, you can just work a couple of rows of it, Sheila, and see what you think. Um, yeah, and you can always tear it out if you don't like it. I don't recall um, the multiple of those rows of that throw from the top of my head, but regardless, you can just add extra stitches at either end and, and use whichever stitch you want to try. It doesn't have to work out perfectly mathematically. You can just, you know, put half double crochets in on the edges um, for those one or two extra stitches that not, might not be a part of them. If, if the multiple is not a multiple of four. For Celtic weave, you'll need a multiple of four um, to work that across. All right, from Christine Ashley. She says, newbie question. What is the best wool al alternative for a chunky scarf shawl? I have a wool sensitivity allergy. Hmm. That's a good question. Um, my, my favorite fiber, um, of course, I don't use it for everything. I, I shouldn't use it for everything because it won't hold up to everything. But is, is but what I'm wearing right now is a 100% is baby alpaca. Um, alpaca is, is, um, is a good fi uh, fiber to default to. I have some stipulations for that, though. It's a good fiber if you can get it 100% alpaca. Um, the only stipulation is you need to be sure that it was, if, if your allergy is, is if you're super highly sensitive, um, you want to be sure or even contact the company if you can to find out whether the alpaca was processed on the same mill equipment that wool is processed in. Um, some places don't process them in the same place because of the allergies. Some people, some places don't don't bother. They they use uh, they process you know alpaca and um, and wool in the same place. Now alpaca, um, a lot of times you'll you'll even find alpaca wool blends, and, and that's the the wool is there to help give the alpaca some strength. Um, but you might want to again check into some. Um, alpaca yarns. Uh, Barocco has some really great economical ones that you can check into. Uh, one of my favorite, this is not a, I mean, this is one of my favorites. I showed this to y'all a couple weeks ago. Pure Alpaca from um, Cascade Yarns. I'm working on a project with this and I decide, I finally nailed, nailed the design down um, this past week. And I will tell you that I had to rip out, had to rip it out three times. I had to, it took a lot of, of um, crocheting and ripping and the yarn holds up to it. Um, I have a couple of uh, ponchos that I'm looking at here in the distances behind the camera that are more than 10 years old. They do show some wear after having worn the thing constantly. I mean, like in the cold weather, it's my default thing that I put on when I'm in the house. But um, that would be a really good alternative. Um, another good, another good fiber is, uh, silk, um, nylon, uh, man-made fibers, uh, acrylic nylon. Um, you can try some of the plant fiber, uh, such as, uh, cottons, but again, um, depending on your sensitivity, as long as it has not been processed, um, on the same equipment where wool is processed, that's just the only stipulation. So, um. I hope that's helpful. So, um, and I think you were asking for a specific, um, yeah, I, I can't really think of like specific brands or, or names, but if you go into any yarn store and, um, depending on the pattern, you know, how thick or thin you want the yarn, if you go into your local yarn store, not, I'm not talking Michael's or a big box store. I'm talking like a specialty yarn store. You should, you know, somebody should be able to help you you know, 
with that and answer all those kinds of questions. And that's the beauty of going to the smaller boutiques is they know what they're doing. They know what they're talking about. They're, they're not just, you know, not just trying to sell huge quantities of stuff. They, they, they know their, their specialty well. Uh, from Sandra Harper, can you tell us the color of paint box yarn you ordered? Uh, yes, I ordered marine blue. <laughs> Look around. Look how much blue is in here. But yeah, I ordered marine blue thinking, um, I was just coming to mind, you know, you see beach houses, you think you see pictures inside these beautiful white beach houses and, and the colors that come to mind are tan and this kind of this uh, marine, it's kind of a very light and bright, uh, teal. There's a little bit of green in it, but, um, very pretty color. I don't, can't show it to you cause I don't have a sample of it here, but, uh, I ordered 20, um, skeins or two 10 packs and we will make something with that. Don't know. Don't know what yet. Um, I have an idea. I have an idea. Um, it's just a matter of fleshing it out. Um, yeah, Kelly Hart, Kelly, um, Kelly Hart, please, please email me, bonniebay at me.com. That information is in the video description, hon. And, and for those of you who don't know how to get to that video description, um, I'm looking at the box below the video that we're watching now. And it says, um, check out Bonnie's ad free videos. And it has the watch channel link. And then beside that, it says show more. If you hit show more, just click on that. The whole box opens up of, of all these links I'm always talking about. Um, I know that's, that's, that's hard for some folks, but, um, uh, cause I know they've changed how that looks over the years, but that, that's what that is. Um, and I would love to see your progress, Kelly, and, and I can give you my two cents worth. Um, just make sure that the photos are clear when you send it, especially if you guys ever have questions that you're sending me, um, First of all, just I just want to remind folks because oh, this past this past weekend I made the mistake of responding to somebody on a Saturday and uh, I think I was able to get the question answered, but it it went back and forth all day long. I'm not kidding you. It was like 20 different correspondents on this one thing because they wanted the answer like this and and I was just like, this is Saturday. <laughs> I'm spending time with my husband. Um, so if you do, if you do email me on the weekend, please know that I will get to it as soon as I can during the work week. I love you guys. I love you very much, but I love my husband more and I love my family more. Um, and I know you understand that cause you love your families more, right? So, um, yeah, I don't respond on Sunday no matter what, because that's, that's a holy day. That's for the Lord. And, um, I want to, uh, be obedient and, and to, and, and, and to, to obey the Lord means for me personally, it means to rest, to rest, to worship and to rest on that day. So again, Saturday and Sunday, I don't respond, but during the week I respond as, as fast as I can. Uh, so just to let you know, I try to be faithful and I don't have a, I don't have a host of secretaries or anybody else answering this. It's me. <laughs> so um, if there's a delay, if I'm out of town or on the road, you know, you'll, you'll know about that. Um, but there, you know, that would be the main thing to have a delay. Um, very interesting question here from Denise. She said, I'm going to crochet an Afghan for my son as the flag of Ireland. Do you have a stitch or tutorial suggestion? Oh, wow. That's interesting. Um, I'd have to think about that, Denise. Um, that would be beautiful. That would be amazing to just, um, um, what I'm, what I'm envisioning as you say that is, is with the colors that go across, I would color, I would, I would crochet, you know, the cables going across, you know, going up and down, but having the flag wide across that, that's what comes to my mind is whatever cables you want to choose. I think it would be beautiful with cabling in it. Wow. That would be, that would be stunning. Um, you're giving me ideas, but that's your idea. You run with it, girl. Um, okay. Is this your question, Hannah? What did I do when I made the American flag blanket? 
Um, well, I have to let you all know what I did with the American flag blanket. Um, keep in mind, I was in junior high school. That was part of a social studies history project. And um, I just did straight up double crochets back and forth for, for the red, the white, and then for the blue field. And then I... I made the stars, but I got so tired. I was, I mean, I was a kid, you know, I was so tired of making those cotton picking stars that I stopped after 13. I said, this is going to be a Betsy Ross flag. <laughs> I'm not doing 50 of these. Um, besides if I had done 50 of the way I was doing, it, I wasn't skilled enough at the time. I mean, I was not following a pattern. I was making up my own and, and the flag was disproportionately way, 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 way too long, but I was too lazy to rip it out. So I said, no, I'm just going with it. So the flag was like twice as long as it should have been. <laughs> but um, I still got extra credit for my social studies uh, project. So anyway, Hannah says it was, she said it was her. Okay, thank you, Hannah. Oh, Hannah, you're so sweet. She says, it was my, she says, it's my question. It's such a beautiful blanket. Well, thank you, Hannah. Um, and that, that flag blanket has been on the beds of many of my children as they were growing up. So that's how she remembers that. Um, I still have that too. It's, it's really funny. Um, I used way too much yarn on it because I, I, again, like I said, I made it way too long. So that was, that was before my designer days and before I knew what a gauge was or anything like that. Okay. Um, I am woefully behind in the chat, guys. I am so sorry about that. Um, I may have to go back afterwards and, and revisit some. Let me see if there's anything. Well, let me go ahead and show you. I've been answering questions. Let me go ahead and show you the palatial prism shawl again. Okay. Um, ah, if I can get it opened up. And I'm told by the Lether Company, their yarn, they do have this yarn in stock now. And uh, I think I have a link in the video description. But if not, it's L-E-I-T-H-E-R. Let me go ahead and put it. I'll put it down here. Okay, leathercompany.com is the link where you can get this yarn. I got this yarn from them at the CGOA conference in New Orleans. That's when I got to meet them. I kind of stalked their um, their site there for a while because I just saw, again, this the blue. I'm in love with blue. I can't help myself. The teals, the blues, I just, they're just amazing. And you can see the little puff stitches. This is this is a this is an upper intermediate design now. I must say that I had to do a lot of ripping to get this right, and it took a lot of work um, to to get this just right. But I I did that so that the videos I had to do recording on these the videos a couple times because I wanted it to be absolutely right for you guys when it went out. But you can see the. Um, the prisms or the triangles and it, it, this was this is nice I mean this was fun it has more of, of a of a butterfly shape to it you can see kind of the dip in the shawl there you can wear it you know as a shawl I mean as a scarf and of course you can wear it as a shawl as well um, it's it's nice and long and um, it is reversible although the puffs do show more on one side than the other, but otherwise it is very much a reversible scarf. This will be coming February 13th, but I have good news. If you're a Watt subscriber, it's already there. It's been up for this past week and with the um, complimentary PDF. Um, I do have this up in my Lovecrafts store already. Um, so if you're interested and want to purchase it, you can purchase it and you can reach the video. Um, with the purchase pattern, but again, this will be coming to YouTube the 13th of February. I'm starting to try to make every effort to roll out designs as I complete them and after the tech editing comes back and everything. Um, I'm going to try to be uploading them sooner um, for my watch subscribers, just kind of as an early access added benefit. I'm going to be working harder to do that for you all. and. Um, because we want, we love you. We love love you, the way you're helping us, and um, we just want to um, look into doing more things for you. And I'm still very close. I need to just check on a couple things, but very close to releasing the how to design my own uh, paneled texturized poncho um, very soon to the site too. 
Uh, and that's a class that when people took it with me, cost $250. I know it's crazy, but it cost a lot of money. It was an all day class. So it's one of these things, if you wanted to treat it as a class, I know it's, um, it's different because you're not in a classroom situation, um, but you can go through the videos. And if you're a watch subscriber and you want to go through it as a class and you want my feedback on the, the design process as you go through the class, you just email it to me and I will take a look at it and give you that extra time. Okay. Um, what else do I have? Oh yes, there is going to be a beginning crochet class and a book signing. Actually, it's more like a book signing and a beginning crochet class at So Original. This is the yarn store that I absolutely love. My friend Swetlana has taught me so much about yarn. More, I've learned more from her than anybody else. You've heard me say that before. Um, and she's now in Columbia, Maryland. So there will be a the book signing on February 11th, that's a week from tomorrow. Um, so if you're in the Washington DC area, metropolitan area, uh, Baltimore, you know, it's, it's not that, you know, it, it's, it's a little bit of a drive for you, but it's, you know, it's, it's very doable. Um, even if you, you don't want to buy anything, you just want to stop by and say, hi, I would love to meet you. Um, I will be there. Those are generally not high traffic kind of situation so if you're worried about you know the masking or anything like that I mean um, it, it's not going to be you know super you know 25 people waiting in line that that has never happened it, it's it's much more informal um, and and impersonal it, it's it's a lot it, it's it's a nice event I like it it's not it's not a lot of pressure for me so that'll be from 10 to 11 on the book signing um, we're going to be featuring our, our new beginning book, but I'm going to have some other titles with me as well, should you be interested in those. And then from 11 to 1, we have about six seats available for absolute beginner crochet class. Um, I taught a crochet class here in my home yesterday with some moms and their daughters from our church and had an absolutely delightful time. So it's it's been the first time since I've done in-person teaching since um when was the last conference okay since since pittsburgh and it was so much fun it was so much fun and the girls were getting it so i was just really happy um just to see that that you know the girls and the moms were starting to get it and then we're going to meet again next week for a follow-up just to make sure that we're and we we left friends they left friends they were smiling they weren't upset <laughs> Um, I think I'm um, going into the class I started out with a little speech about you know their expectations and just say just know that crochet is a wonderful thing but it, it's it's like riding a bicycle and you it takes more than two hours to learn it takes more than five minutes to learn and um, you know in this the culture we live in where everything's got to be like this um, it's like it's not like that it's not like you know I'm clicking on something and you just get it and it, it it takes a little bit of skill. You have to develop muscle memory, blah, 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 blah. You know the drill. Um, so I think setting the tone and, and, and lowering the expectation level, I think just really helps. So for you guys out there teaching crochet, beginning crochet, and you know, people don't get it in five minutes, they're ready to throw it down and walk away. Just give me your little speech. <laughs> um, and if they just get the slip knot, that's fantastic. So anyway, um, I am working on some new baby blankets. I showed you one last week. Um, I am working on another one, and it's because of you guys. Once a couple of you have suggested that they would want me to make the Abigail baby blanket. So we have the Abigail baby blanket coming soon. It's the design of the Abigail scarf, but just worked in the round or in a square for a baby blanket. And I just found some delightful um, baby mandala yarn from uh, color changing yarn from lion brand and um, i'm really enjoying it it's a lightweight uh, number three yarn and it it holds up to ripping out too i've had to rip out a bit on that one so um so that that went really well uh let's see um i think i've gone through most of everything um the the hat let me did I did I put the hat set? Hold on, let me grab it. Doo, doo, doo. It's a good thing I organized my room. The hat 
and scarf. The braided hat is on my site, and so is, is the scarf, the matching scarf, the braided scarf and hat set are on the YouTube channel. And um, just to let you know, that pattern is in this leaflet, Noggins and Necks, uh, one of the first leaflets I ever uh, published, was able to get published with um, Leisure Arts. And it's one of the, it's kind of nostalgia for me because it was one of those things that um, started it all. Let me give you a better picture in here of this lovely lady wearing the hat and the scarf set. So if that's something you're looking for, those are up and they do have these available at Leisure Arts. And I have to tell you, um, thank you guys for your support on the the winter white throw. That that throw is up to 69,000 views. I mean, that's that's a lot for a complicated throw. So thank you for your support there and getting the word out. And um, I did check and it looks like those leaflets are sold out with Leisure Arts right now. I did contact them to find out, are you getting some more? When are they gonna be replenished? Um, so I haven't heard back from them yet, but I am waiting to hear back from Leisure Arts about that. I do have several copies here. I still have um, some. So if you're looking for the written pattern for that, I do have the leaflets here. You can find them in my Etsy store. Um, just a heads up, I'm going to be traveling um, to relocate for a couple of weeks. Again, serving serving family. Um, going to give Hannah a break so Hannah can get her doctor's visits in up here. Um, that's going to be mm, in about in about two and a half weeks. So, and when I when I travel, um, I do take my physical anything that I have to ship from home. I do take those out. I put them on. You know, put them on the shelf on my Etsy uh, page because I, I just don't have the space to take to travel with with my inventory, to, uh, especially in a Miata. So, um, so just to let you know, if you do need that, um, I do have copies. If you want to get them through my Etsy store, after about two weeks, they're not going to be available for a little while, and then, then in when I come back in March, come back home, they will be available again. So just just to let you know. Well, I have missed so much in the chat here, guys. I am so sorry. Um, let me just, um, Hannah has just done a great job keeping up with the questions, though. Um, let me go ahead and look at some of the questions. She sent me a bunch more. Um, and Kelly's asking if, if I think her sister will like the winter white throat. I don't know, Kelly. <laughs> I mean... A lot, of, a lot of questions there. Um, she should. I mean, just do the best you can. Um, see what, see how you like it. Um, and she says, can I crochet the winter white throw without tassels or does it need to have the tassels on it? It's really up to you, Kelly. I, I do have other finishes that I've put on to other throws. Um, what you can do is check out the way I finished um, the, the Celtic the Celtic cable throw. Um, I just finished that by working the woven stitch on both ends and then adding large tassels. I mean, you can try that or you don't even have to have the tassels if you don't want. I think it adds a nice touch though. Um, also check out online um, the holiday cables throw and look how I finished the, the top and the bottom to that and you can maybe add that finish to it. Um, there's another one called the divine textured throw. That was not my title, just to let you know. I don't think anything I do is divine, but that's the title that Red Heart Yarns gave it. Um, but that is on my channel. If you look at the way, the finish, you look at the last um, the last video to the divine textured throw, and um, that's actually another option of how you can finish the ends. I do think it, I, I personally think if you don't do anything, um, I think it doesn't look finished, in my opinion. I think I think it really showcases your work better if you finish it either with um, the fringe or with another finishing technique like I suggested to you there. Um, and you can go to my website, my, my um, homepage here at YouTube, click on Playlist, 
and then look at look up the playlist that says textured throws and you click on that and it'll open up probably 50 to 60 or so videos of just texturized throws and you can look at all of those and see how they're finished and which one you like and the, the instructions are there for you. Um, she also asked, how long does a shawl have to be in order to have it fit around your shoulders? That's a size specific question. Um, I would say at least 50, I'm guessing 55 to 60 inches or more. But it again, it depends on how big the person is. I mean, some people are very petite. Some people are, um, you know, um, no, 2x, 3x, and they might require more. It just depends on the size. Um, and Nancy wants to know, where can I see the baby feet afghan? Um, that is on my, if you go to my home, my home page here. Oh, thank you, Lynn. My goodness, you're so generous. Thank you. I'm going to add that to my list. $10. Well, we're up to, gosh, we're up to $85, guys. We're, we're very close to another song or music or something. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, um, yeah, Nancy, that particular design is in my book. Con do I not have it here? I don't have it right here. It's in contemporary Celtic crochet. Do we have another? My goodness. Let me see. Art journeys. Thank you, Terry. Oh my goodness. So we are, we are really, you guys are now we're up to 95. Whew. Goodness, let me, where's the where's the key here? I forgot how to type for a minute. Thank you so much, Terry. That is so sweet. We are very close, guys. I'm going to have to get practicing. I have to heal my finger so I can be ready for something. But that that baby feet afghan, if you go to my homepage and um you can just in the search bar just put in baby feet and it'll pop up for you. Um, and if you still can't find it, email me, bonniebay at me.com, and I will send you the link directly in the information. Um, okay, and Susan A.B. says, if I wanted to purchase the Watch Channel's membership to yearly instead of monthly, how do I do that? The site, the site's not user-friendly for that sort of information. Um I would need to look at that. My husband manages more of that. He he does a lot of um, my IT on that. So I'll have to look into that. I think if you go into your personal account, um, you may be able to change it. If not, you may have to cancel. Um, you, you may have to cancel your account and then um, rejoin if that makes sense, Susan, um, if, if there's not a mechanism for you to do it. But if you don't mind, if you could email me, bonniebayatme.com, and so that I can have it in the docket and I can ask my husband about it, we can look at it tonight together and see what we need to do. Um, okay, but I, I will definitely want to help you with that. It, it is a savings of about uh, you know two months worth. So, And for those of you who don't know what the watch channel is, I don't pressure people onto this. I just don't want you all to ever feel pressure when I talk about this, but um, the watch site is a way to watch my content ad free, spam free. And it's not, it's not a carbon copy of what's on the public YouTube channel here. I think somebody was confused about that and thought I was, you know, charging to, to do the same that is offered free. It's actually a little bit different. It's, um, it definitely has the best of what I have on the YouTube channel. Plus it has additional things like it has all of the designs in my cable crochet made easy that you can access readily, easily without, um, you know, watching commercials or anything. Um, it also has many downloadable PDFs for, oh my goodness. I keep getting keep getting interrupted by donations, which is quite amazing. I, I saw one come in. Hold on. Thank you, Abigail. And I just saw one for two dollars come in too. Where was that? Um Abigail, thank you. So we are uh, thank you, she she says 
Oh, thank you. I'm so honored to be in your life. Thank you for your sweet comment. She says, here's the rest to get you to 100. Well, we are at 100, guys. We are at, um, we are at 105, actually. So it looks like I'm doing a song of some sort next week. I don't know what it's going to be. It might be a silly song. Probably will be. Um, it might be something on the flute. I don't know. I'll come up with something. I'll try to make it a silly song because that way it'll give me a chance to to get this callus back on the road to recovery again. I mean, as long as it doesn't bubble back up again, but um, we'll see. But thank you. Thank you, Abigail. That is so kind of you. Um, so I was saying about, I was, yes. Thank you, yeah. Oh, thank you, Heather. Thank you. Uh, boy, I'm seeing the watch comments now. She said the watch channel is terrific. What I was trying to say is it's the best of what's on my YouTube channel, plus there is unique um, there are designs there that I have not released publicly that I will not release publicly because I don't want other people on YouTube. I hate to say this because it has happened to me this week. Um, actually another one, um, I had to flag, I got a copyright notice that another channel had just duplicated my, my videos and uploaded them as their own. So uh, people are, they steal content. Um, that doesn't happen on my paid subscribers, at least not yet. doesn't happen on my paid subscriber base because they don't want to pay to steal, which is a good thing. Um, it's just a shame that people have to do that. But I'm, there are certain designs and certain techniques that I'm trying to keep um, a little more protected. And so I, I release them on my watch site for my subscribers. And whenever I do anything that I have ownership of, which is just about everything I'm doing from this point forward, um, you get a complimentary PDF. So, um, for example, um, one of the throws I released recently, the, um, the Shannon's Wandering Throw, is $6.99 um, for the pattern, if you want to buy the pattern to go along with the, the video. But my, paid, my subscribers got it for free, and, and they actually pay $6.95, which is four cents less <laughs> than the price of the one pattern. So, I mean, some months... Um, you know, I release more more new designs than on others. It's just just life. You know, sometimes you release more certain times, but um, whenever something new is released, they get an automatic um, you know copy of that. Again, they're watching it ad free, spam free, um, and nobody is tracking their video habits. Um, and I don't, you know, I don't share that information um, like other platforms do. So and uh, yeah. So just if that's something that you're interested in, there's there is some behind the scenes videos. I need to add more. Um, I just have been so busy. I just haven't had time, but um, I'm working on it, guys. I'm trying to just like you, trying to balance all of life and and figure it all out and do it well. Um, it is 102 already, and I missed a lot. Uh oh. What is going on with Lynn? I just saw your. She says, oh my goodness, hands need to be cut off. What? Lynn, I hope you're okay. <laughs> we have someone called, was it Ola Joe? The crocheting sailor. Uh-oh. Well, I have to look up here. What is going on? I... Um, thank you guys for your positive comments on, on the channel. You know, again, we're experimenting, trying new things, and um, I just want want to bless and, and, and stay in business. Um, oh, thank you, Joanne. She says she loves my jumper. Guys, this is... Um, oh, thank you, Hannah. Oh, thank you, Hannah. Okay, she, Hannah cleared it up for me. She said uh, Lynn was responding to the patterns being stolen. It, it's not just me. It, it, it happens to a lot of people, and it's, it's really sad. Um, but it, they're just some things I want to protect. And I, I'm more interested in protecting them than in selling extra patterns. So that's why I just put them on that, that channel. And um, in, anyway, it's just also the watch channel is a safe place for my materials. Should anything ever happen to the platforms that my material, the public platforms ever, at least I know I have another platform where, where, the, where the material that I want to keep is, is secure. Um, and it's just, it's just made us better at preserving my work. Um, we have a, a, a system and because of the watch, because of the watch subscribers, you guys have helped us to be able to, to improve our equipment here. I have microphones now that I didn't have before. Um, we have a NAS, which is a, a storage system to store all my videos. And those are anything but cheap. 
but it's really important so that we don't lose um, our material. Um, I don't want to just trust it to, you know, these online uh, venue platforms. Um, we have something in our house so that we can, you know, keep all material safe. Um, but um, she was asking about my, my jumper, my, my, um, my sweater. Yeah, this is the first sweater I've ever knitted. I loved doing it. Um, and I learned a lot. Uh, I won't show you how the underarms were put together because <laughs> it was probably not as nice as maybe some other knitters would have liked. But um, but I love wearing this. It's 100% baby alpaca. If any of you all are interested in learning knitting, I held off for like 50 years on learning. No joke. Um, and then finally, my friend Sweat Lana at the uh, very friendly, crochet-friendly um, yarn store where I'm going to be having a book signing. She taught me how to knit. And it was very easy. I used continental style. And I can teach you. I have many knitting videos on my channel. So you go to my homepage and you just look at the um, go to playlist and look at the, you can find knit, beginning knit for crocheters. It's designed to take your yarn hold that you already know and love and just translate that into knitting. I promise you um, there are a couple of secrets to it that you can learn from the videos. It's actually easier, it's easier than crochet. You've got the skills. If you can crochet, you've got the skills to do this. Um, it's, it's just getting over the scary part, you know, just getting over the I can't do it part. And uh, once she got me doing this, I mean, she showed me one afternoon and by the evening I had finished a hat. So, I mean, it's, it's, it can be as easy as that. I have some very easy beginner friendly videos I go very slowly when I when I made these videos I was an absolute newbie to it and I couldn't go any faster I went very slow very meticulous showing you exactly where to stick that needle um, I don't assume anything in those so if you're interested in that please check them out and again if you're new to the chat and I didn't get to you I'm so sorry um, things just got away from me today Hannah has been super busy Hannah has been super busy Hannah I love you, girl. You're, you're doing such a great job. <laughs> Sandra says um, to me, she says, sing without the music. I know you would do a good job. <laughs> oh, Sandra. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. I might pull out an older song that we've done before. Maybe the new people would appreciate it because they probably wouldn't have heard it. And Marinella, so good to see you. Hola, um, my friend. Thank you for being there. And uh, let me just see if there's anybody else that I haven't seen. Michelle. Um, thank you. She says, really like the watch channel. Highly recommend it. Um, Archer Nace, again, so so good to see you in the chat. And um, and thanks again for your generosity. Um, yeah. So we did have some new people today. Wow, that is great. And, um, is it Elzebita? Is that, is that how you said that? What a beautiful name. Thank you for your, your encouragement there. Um, and I think, I think Hannah pretty much got me your question so um, I'm anyway I'm gonna go ahead and, and prepare to to release Hannah I do want to read something though um, and this is a little unusual I'm, I'm reading from I'm gonna read from my the notes that I took this Sunday um, and I, I was just so impacted by by um, uh, our, our pastor Devin um, Devin has been a, one of our pastors he was kind of kind of learning from um, Larry, the pastor who, who passed away this past fall while we were away. Um, but I, this, this young man has a lot of great things to say. Um, I remember when he was a kid, it's kind of funny, but um, I just wanted to read you some things that he said, and this is a quote directly from Devin Coughlin. Um, this is some words of encouragement I like to end with. And so for those of you who are new, um, I love the Lord Jesus. I'm a Christian and um, not being pushy with this. I'm just, I just want to encourage where I've been encouraged and I just want to pass that along. There's a lot of negativity out there and I want to try to counter that with some truth here where I can. Um, anyway, Devin, he was preaching from uh, Matthew 26, 6 through 13. And you can look that up if you know, you understand better. But he said, how we value Jesus will determine the trajectory of our lives. Is that like profound or what for a young man to come up with? How we value Jesus will determine the trajectory of our lives. 
And during the sermon, he also quoted one of my favorites, um, an 18th century, I'm sorry, 19th century pastor, J.C. Ryle, who said, ah, if I can get through this, the praise of man is but for a few days. The praise of God lasts forever. Is that not amazing? Let me read it again. I have to read it again. The praise of man is but for a few days. The praise of God lasts forever. So I hope that encourages you to as much as it as it does me. And um, I, I wish you all a wonderful week and hope to see you here soon, maybe next Friday. God bless. Bye-bye.